three sides of a triangle, it will be one it it will be equal to one eighty degrees. Okay, if you if we will add the angle of all of the uh, triangle, that sum of all angle of a triangle is one hundred eighty degrees, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm asking about how to find the area of a triangle. Do you know any formula? Area for God, it is uh, uh, height into breadth. Height into breadth. So, how to find the area of a rectangle? Uh, not breadth, base, base, height into base. Means height into base. Okay, this is L into B for the any rectangle. Okay, you are saying for the triangle it is base into height, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so it's still you miss a factor of half. This is this is true for this triangle. Okay, we know the height already, and we know the base. I I kind of forgot. I was thinking B into H. I forgot base or breadth it was. Okay, so for this triangle, if we have height and base, we can use this formula. Take it. It's okay. Yes, sir. If we don't know the height, okay, the situation in this figure, and we only know the measure of sides, then how we will proceed? What could you repeat? I didn't hear you. You said about half into base into height, right? Yes, sir. When base and height is known. Suppose yeah. we have in the case that we don't know the height. Okay. We only know the measures for all three sides of a triangle. Uh, we already have the base and we we'll have to multiply it with half. So, um, but, but in this figure, we don't know the height. We don't know yeah. the height. Okay. The height is not known. So how we will proceed? Um, in, in this figure, we were knowing the base and height as well. Okay. Yeah. But in the new situation, we don't know what is height. Yeah, so it will be related to the Pythagoras theorem we could use. We can use Pythagoras theorem. We can draw a perpendicular from here. But we are not aware what could be this side length, this length, or this length. How could we will determine? This all together is 40 centimeter or 40 unit from here to there. But how we will define this length or this length? That's not gonna work. Yeah. So in that scenario, one rescue is called Heron's formula. Okay. Okay. Here okay. we only need here we only need the all measures of all sides. Okay. So see, in mm -hmm. this figure, we have measures of all sides. Mm. Yes, sir. Okay. So if we know the measures of all sides, uh, what we will do? We will use a formula to find the area. Before proceeding, this is a, angle A. Yeah. Opposite to the opposite to this will be a small a, which will correspond to the measure of that side. Okay. Okay, sir. Opposite to this b, this will be as the side correspond to this will be a small b, and this will again measure the length of that side. Similarly to this c, there will be a small c, which measure the length of another side got the point yes sir so what we will do now we will find the sum of all sides a plus b plus c okay and we'll half it 
and we will assign this a, a name called S. Okay. Okay. Yes, now, sir. if we have this S, we will come to it what it being termed in mathematics. Okay, so let me just increase the size of this page. Okay. Yes, sir. Once we get can once we get this size, we will use a formula S into S minus A. This A corresponds to this 40 unit. Okay. Then yes. S minus B. This B will be opposite to this. Okay. And then S minus C. This C will be opposite to this angle. And we have to take the square root of all. And this will correspond to our hero and formula area of triangle. Okay, sir. Triangle for the name ABC. This is called Heron's formula. Okay, sir. Understood. Okay, so can you proceed and find the area of the given figure, this one? The first triangle? Yeah, this one. Okay, sir. What I mean? I'm calculating, sir. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we have only problems for all of
Sir, sir, the unit will be meter. Uh, area will be meter square. Uh, yeah, meters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unit square. Okay. Whatever is, we have to multiply it again. So it will be m into m. That is meter square. So I got the answer. I don't remember the answer and don't know the answer. I only know the procedures. You got the point? I, yes, sir. I, I had to multiply minus or more and then multiply it. I got 384 meter square. Uh, okay. That's maybe or you must be true, but I, I will proceed. This S is called semi-perimeter. Okay. A plus B plus C is the perimeters of this triangle. We are doing half of the perimeter. So this might take now 32, 24 plus 40 divided by 2. That's right? Yes. So 6 and 5, 9 divided by 2. This is? 48. This is 48. Okay? Yeah, okay. So we, we got this 48. So let me have a little bit of space if we need it. So what we will do, we will write uh, area is equal to root of S 48 48 into 48, 48 minus 32. What is A? Yeah. 32. Then 48 minus what is B? 24? Then 24. Minus 14. Minus 40. Okay, so we are left with 48. And then 32, 42. Into, yeah, 32, 42, 16. 16. 16. Into, then, into 24 into eight eight right so mm -hmm. i hope that you have calculated the square root in proper way yeah uh how we have how you written this uh, I have two, seen eight, eight. two two is a four three is a twelve twelve to the twenty four twenty four to the forty eight right four two to the four four three is a twelve twelve to so the twenty four how you have uh, solved this I multiplied eight into sixteen into twenty four forty eight is not not is not the that thing now. So, see, this is equal to 48 or not? We have to divide it. So I, I uh, don't know. We, we have to multiply all. Na? So, I, I'll, I'll give you the trick. Why you will multiply all and then come out of uh, a square root? So, see, first okay. tell me this, this prime factorization is equal to 48 or not? 4, 4, 12, 12, 12. Yeah. Okay, then write the next one. 16 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 this is 16 yeah and then 24 2 to the 4 3 the 12 12 3 12 to the this 24 right this is 4 yeah. 12 24 then 2 mm -hmm. to the 4 to the 8 right yeah so instead of making it bulk you keep it. Now what, what this, see, this is the pair. Again, yeah. this is the pair. Again, this is the pair. This is the pair. This is the pair. This is the pair. This is the pair, right? And yeah, so, this three is the pair. Okay. So it'll be two into two into two. Two into two into two. Into, in, two, into two into two into two into two into three. Four, right? Four, yeah. So finally, how much? Two, so it, 
384. Okay, 384. I hope that you have made the calculation correct. So yes, sir, earlier, correct. earlier you also got the same answer. Yeah, but I like multiplied them all, like not prime factorization. I didn't do. Okay. So do which with method you uh, find that is uh, comfortable? The prime factorization one because it's easier to multiply uh, of course okay so you got the meaning of your own formula and all yes sir concept is clear mm, this chapter yes. is only one formula based okay you may find the application okay uh, as there is uh, next question we have oh oh, oh why, 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 why. The next question is this one. This is the now we have application. So before that, I think the another question will be fine. Before that, this one, this one will be good. I think this is the easy question. The side of a triangular plot is in ratio for three is to five is to seven, and its perimeter is three hundred meter. Find the area. How we will proceed? Uh, we can yeah. plus all ratios. We yes. can add all ratios together. Okay, so proceed. I will follow like you. We, can, we will do 3x plus 5x plus 7x. Because we don't know what number it is multiplied with. So we'll take it as x. Yes. So 7x plus 3x plus 5x. 3x plus 5x plus 7x. This will be? Is equal to 300. So 10, 15x is equal to 300. x will be? 300 divided by 15 is 20. 20. 20 right so the first part will be first side will be 6 3 into 20 60 another yeah. will be 100 and, and then, another will be 140 yeah so this then, is 300 yes sir okay so we we know that this is one side this is another side this is the another side hmm. then we'll we will do the uh, Okay, so formula. first of all, we will find semi perimeter a plus yeah. c, 60 plus 100 plus 140, 140 by, two. by 2. This all already say that perimeter is this 300s. So just divide by 300s, other way around, yeah. around as well. How much we will get? 150? 150. And proceed in the same way. So it's easier? Yes, so do it.
What happened? Is everything is smooth? Yes, I'm defining the square root. Okay, go ahead. So, so I got the answer. No, oh, you got the answer. Yes, sir. So, should I should I redo for you? Or you are satisfied with your calculation? Uh, I'm satisfied, so I know I'm correct. Okay, then that's good. Self confidence is the one of the best thing. Okay. So now, again, the easiest question, easy question is we can't use the easiest, the easy question. A traffic signboard indicating the school ahead in an equilateral triangle with side A, find the area of signboard using Heron's formula if its perimeter is 180 degree centimeter. What will be the area? Equilateral triangle means all sides are A. So we can do 3 into A. It is equal to 180 centimeters. So 180 divided by 3 will be 60 centimeters. Okay. So this S will be 60 centimeters and A will be A will be how much? A will be no A is 60, sir. A is 60? Yeah. Okay, because 3A is equal to 180 degree. So, so 180 A is equal to 60 degree, right? Okay. Yeah. Right. What about S? S will be a 60 plus 60 plus 60, which will be 180 by into 2 by divided by 2. Uh, 90. 90. 180 divided by 2, 90 degrees. Nine. So you are done with this as well? Yes, sir. Okay. So I think we have the tough question now. Some application based. I won't say it's tough, but it's a bit application based. This one. Thank Triangle park ABC has sides 120 meter, 80 meters, 50 meter. A gardener, Diana, has to put a fence all around it and also paint grass inside. How much area does she need to plant? Find the cost of fencing it with barb barbed wire at rate of rupees 20 per meter, leaving a space three meter wide for a gate on one side. That's the, your problem. Uh, yeah, to find the area it's by using the formula, it's easy. Fencing, uh, uh, fencing it will. 
yeah, put some put some pressure on brain. Have some buddhi. I'm confused on the uh, on the three meter space. Three meter space means that we need this space, okay, for entry. Oh, okay. Okay, so the fencing is all around from yeah. here to there. Yeah. Okay, this these are the barbed wall. Uh, sorry, wire, and this is, is being left. So the wire is not present in this three meter length. We can we can find to find the fencing. We can add all the sides and yes. minus the three meter. Yes. Then, 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 then. Then we just uh, yeah, then we'll take the perimeter by minusing a three and then multiplying with twenty rupees. That's good. No problem. Do it. Okay.
You, you concentrate on that problem only. I got the answer. Okay, you got the answer. Uh, yes. How much cost it will be? 4,940 rupees. So I think you have just uh, 200, 250, 250 minus 5 into 20. This is your answer? 240. 245 into 20. No, minus 3, minus 3. Oh, oh minus yes. Three is minus 3. Uh, 247. Seven. 20. This is your answer? Yeah. Okay. So this is done. So what about the area? Because area also two, has three. to plant. This also has to plant the grass. I I got 375 root of 15 meter square because it's not current, coming correct number. Okay, so uh, should I do it for you or you are again confident? I'm, I'm sure I'm correct, sir. Okay, then no problem. So, yes, sir. So we have exhausted the problem, I thought. These four problems will last for an hour, but you solve all these within 40 minutes. So you are coming from party somewhere? Not party, sir. I went to shopping with my mother. We went to avenues to shop. Uh, Just half an hour ago, I came back okay. quickly. No problem. So I think this is another problem for us and is visible i just search and think yes. uh so the 250 the minus it's covering uh, i'm gonna remove that okay 
So either I will put it here or somewhere else. Let me increase the size of this. So you can make it longer, like from the bottom. Yeah, let, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing. Don't worry. Oh, 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 oh. What happened? Okay, this one. So. Is this bit visible? Yes, I just uh, could you make it longer? Yeah, okay. That's good. Yes, sir, it's good. Will it work? Yes. Oh, this side is not visible. I think this, this, this. No, I can understand, sir. I can understand it. Okay. So, farmer, it's a triangle field with sides to 50 meter, 200 meter, and 360 meter, where he grew wheat in another triangle field with sides to 40, 320, and 400 adjacent to the previous field. He wanted to grow the potatoes and onions. He divided the field into two parts by joining the midpoint of the longest side to the opposite vertex and grew potatoes in one part and onions in the other part. How much area and hectares has been used for wheat, potatoes and onions? Do you feel um, it's just justified question to you or is a bit tough? It's not tough, not easy, but not tough also. Okay. No. So, um, how will you proceed? Yeah. See, this, we know the all sides of this triangle. Yeah. Yeah. And this side of this triangle and this side of this triangle. So again, we know the three sides of this triangle, but the thing is that is being cut in half. So we have to see we he he divided the field into two parts by joining the midpoint of the longest side. Longest side is four hundred meters, so it's midpoint, right? So now yeah. you now you get the length of other sides as well. All the four or five sides are there. So you got the length. Yeah. Okay. So what will be the length of this side from here to here? It'll be four hundred divided by two. Means two hundred, right? Yeah. Two. The same here, it will be 200. Okay, from here to here. So again, you have to find the area. And this time you have to change the meter squared into hectare. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. So if you get 10,000 meter square, that will be equal to one hectare. Okay. So... That's the run. I think you will be, yeah. So the line the which is connecting the midpoint, should we also find the meter, like the length of that also? Uh, this line? Yeah. Uh, how we will find the, this line? I, I, thought like, I thought like 200 plus 240 plus Example x is equal to one eight. Like I, I don't know. I was just thinking something. Okay, so this line we don't know, right? This yeah, there is a, there's there is some. So how th there must be in a clue somewhere in question. He divided the field into two parts 
by joining the midpoints of the longest side of the two opposite vertex and grew potatoes in one part and onion in another part. How much area has been? The farmer has a triangular field with sides this, this, this. Two, 200, 240, 240 is this one, 200 is this one, and 320 is this one, right? So, so we can. Aha, uh -huh. this is 360, 360, this is 360. So one part information is over here related to this. Yeah. yeah. And uh, where he grew uh, wheat in the, another triangle, he filled sides of 240. Uh, 240 is this, 320 is this, and 400 is this one. For total and yeah. all. He divided the field into two parts by joining this. Okay, okay, by joining the midpoint of this. So, so if we find the area of the long, the bigger triangle, then we can divide it by two. Yes, that's the also way. That's been the easiest. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that will be also the easiest thing. So, will you proceed okay. now or after the session? I don't think I can finish but in the session. I can try because okay. I have to do the same step again and again. That's why. Okay. So, so do we will meet next week with some new uh, questions. Okay. Actually, this is all, this chapter is only based on a single concept. Okay. Heron's okay. formula. So, we will again come with some and new questions you take the screenshot of it uh, yes sir let, let me let me remove the pen mark so it will be easier to you to understand Okay, so can we do one thing? Can we shift the class to 8.30 Indian times all the day? What's the good instead of, again? Instead of, instead of 8 p.m. class Indian time, can we extend it to 8.30? Uh, usually the class is 5.30, so, uh, I, so you wanted 6.30, sir. 6.30. Let's see. No problem if it's at eight o'clock. No problem as well. Okay. This guy, the timing for today, you wanted to for continue, sir? No, no, no. It's nine o'clock Indian time is a bit late for me. Eight o'clock is yeah. okay. Eight o'clock is okay. No problem. Yes, just for today only I did it because I had to go okay. out. Okay, no it will be only. Okay, eight eight o'clock. The usual time will be from next day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay then. Okay. okay.